Are you also a low-end PC user, struggling to run Windows 11 because your system doesn't meet the requirements? Frustrating, right? But don't worry, I've got you covered. In today's video, I'm bringing you a lightweight and modified version of Windows 11 that works smoothly even on a PC with just 2 GB of RAM. But that's not all. We'll also test whether an emulator runs properly on this version or not. Because let's be honest, if you're installing Windows for gaming, this test is going to be very important for you. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. All the files I'll be using in this video can be found on my website. If you face any issues or need a direct download link, feel free to DM me on Instagram. I've already downloaded the required files and the total size is just 1.6 GB. Once you download it, you'll get a zip file. Simply extract it. Since it's lightweight, so the extraction will be quick and easy. Next, insert a 4 GB USB drive into your PC and then open Rufus. Click the Select button and choose the ISO file you have extracted earlier. By default, this option will switch to GPT mode automatically, but since my PC supports MBR, I'll manually select MBR. Then, hit the Start button, and within 2-3 minutes, your USB drive will be bootable. Now that everything is ready, I'll restart my PC and record the next steps with a hand cam. Once your PC restarts, press your boot key multiple times to open the boot menu. This may vary depending on your system. After that, once the USB boots, you'll land on a screen where everything is already set. Just click Next. Then select the partition where you want to install Windows 11. If you're installing it alongside an existing Windows version, make sure to choose a separate partition. Then, click the Install button and the process will begin. The best part? You'll land directly on Windows once installation is complete. Means no need for any setup or additional configurations. Now, as you can see, Windows 11 is running smoothly on my low-end system, which is only 2 GB of RAM. And the best thing about this OS? It consumes way less space compared to Windows 10 and 11. Plus, all unnecessary bloatware has been removed, which significantly boosts performance. It even includes some pre-installed software that you can install only if needed. Now, it's time to test the emulator. For this, I will be using Memuplay. You can find its download link in the comments, and I've also made a dedicated video on it. Just click the i button above to check it out. All right, the emulator is now installed, so let's launch it. And to test performance, I'll drag and drop a few games into it. Now the installation is complete, let's launch the game. And well, here's the thing, the game launched. But I'm noticing some lag, and that's without even testing Free Fire yet. If you're looking for a basic, fast, and optimized Windows 11 experience, this version is perfect. But if your main goal is gaming, especially through an emulator, well, you might face some lag. In fact, when I tested the same emulator on Windows 7, it ran much better. So, depending on what you need, you'll have to decide if this version is right for you. If you've watched this far, congratulations. You now know exactly what to expect from this Windows 11 Lite version. Still got questions? Drop a comment or DM me on Instagram. I'll be happy to help. And if you're using an even lower end PC with just one GB of RAM, check out the video on the left. I tested a super lightweight version of Windows 10 that might be perfect for you. Click on it now and I'll see you there. Bye.